Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. Today's video is uh, part one of a series that I have decided to make. And this uh, series is particularly close to my heart and I think it's the subject that I definitely have a lot of experience in. So I've decided to share some of that with you. And the series is going to be called How to be in a band. Uh, and an interesting thing is that uh, Metallica, I believe, has recently released something uh, actually similar uh, because obviously they've been in a band for 40 years or 40 odd years now, I think. However, this is not about that. It's just basically an idea that I've had for quite some time. But yeah, I've recently actually seen that they've done that. And actually, partially, that probably motivated me uh, to actually get going with this. Um, so if you are watching my video for the first time and you don't know anything about my background, I'm just going to tell you very quickly. Uh, I've been playing in bands, actually I have formed uh, quite a number of bands and that's, uh, I've been involved in bands since 1995. Uh, when I actually found my first band. I believe that there are a lot of people out there who might be thinking about forming a band right now or perhaps joining a band. So I thought a series like this would be really helpful uh, for people like, like that and that I can actually share some of my knowledge and experiences uh, from forming bands and being in various bands over the years. This first episode is called Common Vision. Uh, so what it is really about is that when you think about forming a band uh, with other people uh, what's, or even joining a band with other people, depending on where you are, uh, what's really important to uh, remember is that you've got to have a common vision between yourselves. Um, so effectively, first and foremost, you all need to want to play uh, the same style of music. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the ultimate starting point really. Because, you know, if one of you wants to play punk, the other one wants to play jazz, and the third person, I don't know, maybe wants to play classical music, uh, I don't think that's going to work. Having said that, I, I'm not necessarily encouraging people to just stick to one particular genre. And of course, you should experiment, but if that's your thing, and if you agree with other people, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna just experiment and play various genres, in, you know, uh, songs in various styles, that's also fine but you all have to agree uh, to it uh, from the start. Having common vision isn't just about what type of music you are going to play. It's also about your approach uh, to, to the music itself. So for example, uh, are you committed to uh, having rehearsals every single day of the week? Can you only afford to play once a week, for example? Uh, and you need to obviously discuss that with other band members, you know, because you have to be all um, on the same uh, wavelength and on the same understanding. It's like with any other project, a band is kind of a project really in a way, uh, and everybody should be working towards the same direction and the same goals. Having common vision also means that you all agree uh, on where you are going or where you want to take the band, okay? Because, okay, some band members might be thinking, well, I'm only here for fun, you know? I just want to have a bit of fun, you know, maybe uh, on the weekend, play to a few mates at the, at the pub. Whilst another band member might be thinking, well, actually, I want to take this band as far as possible, you know? I want to play international tours. Uh, things like that. So now, if you have those uh, conflicting ideas from, from various band members, the likelihood is that a band is not going to work. Having common vision may also mean agreeing on things such as artwork, uh, you know, your image, band image, how you're going to present yourself, whether you are going to be representing any political views, political statements, personal statement, you know, whether every single band member agrees with the same uh, direction when it comes to things like that. Again, that's really important. It doesn't necessarily have to be a politi political statement uh, by any means, but it's things like, you know, what, what's your story? Uh, what kind of message you want to convey? Is it a message of love? Is it a message of hate? You know, is it a message of you disagree with something or you are pro something, you know, that kind of thing. So it could be just your general uh, outlook, your general vision of the band, 
and uh, what you want sort of how you want people to receive you things like that also go across when when i spoke about band image you know it's it's about agreeing on things you know like what are you going to be wearing on stage you know are you all going for just like some casual natural clothes that you wear every day or are you are you going to be performing in specific costumes or anything like that or specific sort of you you be more uniformed as a band uh, that might be another thing that you all may need to agree on i have certainly experienced situations uh, when i was in bands where you know we didn't all necessarily explain to each other or maybe agree from the get-go uh, what you know the, these in, in important details uh, and then it kind of backfired later on you know so so it's important that um, all these things are, are agreed early on uh, and everybody buys in uh, to the same common vision uh, of being in the band and where that band is actually heading What's also really important uh, to agree between each other is uh, even how many members the band is going to have, you know. Uh, do, you, do you want just one guitar or do you want two guitars? Do you want a uh, separate singer in the band or, or, you know, is one of your guitarists or a bass player or a drummer perhaps uh, going to be doing the vocals? It's all really important. It's, all, it's really important that you actually say these things at the very beginning. Uh, and you actually express how you see the band. The worst thing that you can do is start a band, start your rehearsal, start your band practices uh, and actually not communicate uh, those things with each other um, because this may lead later on to uh, problems. So effectively, you know, disagreements, you know, oh, actually, I imagined this to be this way. Oh, I, I, I imagined it to be the opposite way. I wanted to have a female singer in the band. I wanted to have a male singer in the band. And maybe, you know, I wanted to add keyboards, but I'm against it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, so, so it's really important that uh, those things are really uh, clearly explained and agreed upon. Uh, to begin with. That brings me to the end of uh, part one of this series. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and you've taken something uh, for yourself away from this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.